let me just press pause there for a minute before we move on, move any further. Um, it has become popular in recent years. In fact, I just saw just the other day um, someone commenting on this and saying, the Bible isn't that concerned with the fate of individuals. Uh, and it certainly isn't that concerned with, uh, you know, the whole issue of hell. That's something that's a medieval concern that the Catholic Church uh, has made up. But if you look at the Bible itself, the Bible isn't really worried about the individual fate of believers or the eternal punishment of individuals. I have to respond to that claim and just point out that is completely false, right? Um, not only is the eternal fate of individuals a major priority of Scripture as a whole, it's a major priority of Jesus himself, right? Again, no one talks about Gehenna or hell in the New Testament more than Jesus himself. He speaks about hell more times than the rest of the entire New Testament combined. Precisely because Christ loves every single human being. Because he doesn't want any human being to spend eternity separated from him and separated from God. And to the experience, the pain of that eternal separation, which he's describing here through the images of fire and eternal corruption um, and eternal or everlasting death. I mean, these are serious, serious issues here. So Jesus is drawing on Jewish tradition, using Jewish images to describe this spiritual reality of eternal separation from God. And he's essentially telling us in the gospel for today, do whatever it takes to avoid being separated from God forever. Do whatever it takes to avoid ending up in the fires of Gehenna rather than the kingdom of God. You might have noticed that too. What is the antithesis to Gehenna? What is the opposite of Gehenna? Well, Jesus said, it's better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than with both eyes to be cast into the fires of Gehenna. So these are the two possible fates for every human being. We can either enter into the kingdom of God and be with him forever, or we can enter into the fires of Gehenna and be separated from him for forever. Those are the two possibilities that every human being has to stand before. And Jesus is saying, if anything impedes your entry into the kingdom of God, if there's any obstacle to you being united with God forever in an eternal union of communion and happiness and joy, then you've got to root out that obstacle. You've got to cut off that impediment to entering into the kingdom of God.